Hey Sagittarius, welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a peek into your romantic love life for the week of January 2023. I'm going to be pulling a nine card spread, see who you are connecting to. Ooh, three of pentacles to the two of cups. Could be meeting someone at the workplace or there's a friend that wants more with you. All right. But anywho, what was I saying? I'm going to pull a nine card spread, see who you are connecting to, find out how they feel about you, their intentions with you, their next actions toward you, all that good stuff. Now, Sagittarius, if you're in a recent no contact situation where you haven't heard from your person in, say, a few days, up to a few weeks or so, and you're curious about what they're thinking, I will pull a hidden message at the end of the reading to find out what they're thinking about in regards to you guys and not communicating, okay? But for everyone else, let's do this. Spirit, please connect me to Sagittarius today for their romantic love life. What's going on for the week of January 2023 for Sagittarius? How does their person feel about them right now? Their true intentions with Sagittarius and their next actions. Two more shuffles, please. One and ooh, two. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Saggies. First card out is the Eight of Pentacles. The moon, this is Major Arcana for Pisces. And the queen of pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Based off of the first three cards, um, there's something that's being kept a secret. Whether you and this person are keeping your love connection a secret from the public, um, for whatever reasons, maybe you guys feel like it's too soon to be telling people that you're dating and you don't want to, you know, jinx it. Or there's something else going on behind the scenes that you and this person feels like you should keep this, uh, you know, connection to yourselves. But I do feel like someone's um, working towards this connection and making effort with that Eight of Pentacles. Or this is relating to a work situation for somebody. Maybe someone's working a lot and they are unable to like give to the connection as much as they would like to. So that's why a connection is staying on the down low right now. Let me just pull the rest of the cards. Nine of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Now, the moon to the Six of Swords is telling me that someone feels like they don't have any clear direction of where a relationship is headed, but still wants to put in the work. I do feel like one person is showing up more independent, more, more on their own, and focus on their career and money, while another person's already ready to lay down some sort of strong foundation with the other person. But both parties, you and this person, don't really have a clear direction of where it's going. It's kind of like you guys are taking it day by day. All right, but you're not being open about your relationship to other people. Now, I don't have any evidence of a third party situation, um, but I'm not gonna rule that out. But there's, there's some reason why you and this person are not being public about your relationship with others. For some, this could imply that you guys are trying to reconcile differences and until you see that the reconciliation is gonna be successful, you don't wanna tell friends and family about it because maybe they will be like, oh, it's too soon or something like that. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So someone here is coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. Another is coming in as the Queen of Cups. So one is more ready and serious about a relationship while another person is being very careful about expressing themselves for some reason. Three more cards. Five of Pentacles. All Pentacle energy right here. So something is surrounding money as well. The Devil, major for Capricorn. And the Knight of Pentacles. Overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Wands. So Sagittarius, it feels like you and this person have one of those kind of connections where one moment's really good, next minute it's so-so, and two people don't really know what's happening. So you both are trying to keep your connection um, low key right now because you don't want people you know, casting stones on your connection. It does feel like this is a connection that you have been on again, off again, and you don't want, you don't want to hear people telling you, look Sagittarius, it didn't work last time, why are you gonna think it's gonna work this time? And you're like, shut up already, I don't want to hear it. Or, or, 
there is a third party involved where you and this person have to keep your relationship a secret while another one clears out a old relationship perhaps and someone feels like they're carrying all the burdens of the relationship. You see how this feminine energy is standing there with two torches and there's like a mob of people heading towards her with these torches? Someone feels like they're being left with all the responsibility of a connection and their other person is not helping out. All right, kind of like um, say you and this person are reconciling this week and you've got friends and family asking you, hey Sagittarius, why are you reconciling with this person and you guys keep on breaking up and you would wish that your person would also stand there with you to you know, defend why you guys are working things out. Or if this is a third party situation, you may feel like this person is leaving you to hold the bag and take the brunt of, you know, any naysayers or people, you know, passing judgment and you're like, wait a minute, am I gonna get some help here? It feels like that. It feels like there's someone that wants to be with you, Sagittarius, but in order to be with you, it has to be in secret for a little bit, okay? Unless someone is just feeling like their love life doesn't need attention right now, so it's best to just keep things, you know, behind closed doors. But there is a lot of passion here. A lot of desire that this person has for you. And, you know, there's a lot of desire here. But it doesn't feel like there is, you know, there's something going on here. And with this devil to the five of pentacles, it, it does feel like um, something is not secure just yet. Someone doesn't feel comfortable that they can count on this relationship being here a year from now. Someone doesn't have that, that, that feeling of safety of knowing that, yeah, that's my person. Me and my person are going to be together forever. Someone here does not feel confident in saying that and it's a very lonely feeling. Okay, or you may have left someone out in the cold and they're wanting to come back into your life and you're contemplating letting this person come back into your life, but you want to keep it to yourself and not tell your friends, tell your family or anything like that. Because I am getting a strong indication that you care about somebody and this person cares about you, but you feel like you have to like, you know, be secretive. Let me clarify. I need to clarify this energy because I am seeing three different people showing up now. I got the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles. So it does feel like someone here might be, um, you know, letting one connection go in order to start something brand new, but someone needs to be single first with that Nine of Pentacles. Or there's one person who is single waiting on another person to get out of a situation and is getting stressed out that it's not happening, that it's taken too long. I hope this is making sense. I gotta, I gotta trust it. I'm gonna clarify and get nosy. Can I get a card on this Eight of Pentacles, please? For some of you, you might be keeping an office romance a secret, right? Because we did see that Three of Pentacles and the Two of Cups during the pre-shuffle, remember? Um, and the Three of Pentacles to me is a work relationship, you know, or platonic friends. And the Eight of Pentacles is my work card as well. And since those first two came out, it feels like an office romance that's needing to be kept a secret, whether someone is a boss or someone is, you know, already in a situation. Why this Eight of Pentacles, please? Why this Eight of Pentacles? Why this Eight of Pentacles? Why this, whoa, Six of Pentacles. On the bottom, I have the Hermit. So I do feel like, um, there's times where someone goes quiet on somebody, whether that's you or this person, someone goes quiet. And the Six of Pentacles is the energy of kind of breadcrumbing somebody, like giving them a little bit of doses of attention and then taking that attention away, giving a little bit of doses of attention and taking that away, getting someone addicted to the dopamine high of finally getting that attention once in a while. Right? Like for example, Sagittarius, say this person will text you a couple days in a row and then you don't hear for, from them for a whole week and you're like, what the heck is wrong with my person? They're not reaching out to me. And then they finally pop in and say hi and it's like a rush of dopamine that you get because you're getting rewarded with that Six of Pentacles. And that's BS in my opinion. But it feels like this person can't talk to you as much as they would like to because there might be other people involved. Five of Wands, the Four of Swords. Well, that's flipped and you're the one that can't be that available to this person because you've got other things going on. Because now I'm looking at the King of Wands to the Ten of Wands. All right, the King of Wands is you. Now, third, the other people involved don't have to be romantic partners, okay? It could be gossipy coworkers. It could be, you know, 
friends that are just giving some bad advice or questioning the you know the relationship you have with this person it could be family members saying i don't know you guys really don't work well together it, it, it could be a plethora of those different things but what i'm getting is someone gives a little bit of time and then they retreat they give a little bit of time and then they retreat like little breadcrumbs and it's leaving someone feeling like what the heck i can never count on this person to always be there for me five of pentacles right you want to wake up one day and be like you know what I know my person's gonna be always here for me and not a question, you know, not to question it. But someone here doesn't feel secure in the relationship but wants to. Now, let me clarify this moon because this moon is what I really wanna focus on because the moon connects to the 12th house, which is all about what is a mystery, what is hidden, what has not been revealed. It's also the house of your low key haters. So people hating on you because you're doing well, hating on you because you're attractive, hating on you because someone's giving you attention. Why the moon? Why the moon? Why the moon? The Four of Pentacles. Okay, the Four of Pentacles is all about stable foundations. You know, if, if it connects to the fourth house, it feels like, where someone may already have like a foundation that has been created and now is trying to protect it because of money or because of um, possessions, possessions. And that's what the devil is as well. Um, Page of Pentacles, the Tower, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so it's like um, Sagittarius, you might be connecting with someone that you A, work with and you're protecting your money and that's why you're keeping the relationship a secret because maybe you're not allowed to date at the workplace or you don't want to cause any drama or B, someone's already in a situation where they already have like a relationship in order or a marriage and they're protecting their finances because if they were to leave that relationship, they would lose some money. Um, Ace of Swords, what is this Queen of Pentacles? What is this Queen of Pentacles? What is this Queen of Pentacles? The devil again. All right, whoever this person is, Sagittarius, they're really obsessed with you. And there's the Emperor, Aries energy. The Emperor in my readings is a father figure. It's a, it's a husband, it's a boss, it's someone in a position of authority or someone that is you know in a controlling position. But to see the devil, it almost feels like someone's abusing power. Like someone knows that they knows that you want them and maybe like <clears throat> taking advantage of it or there's someone that's abusing their loyalty to somebody like gave a promise and is abusing that, you know, it's like whoever this person promised something to the other person is trusting that they are going to fall through in their word or their promise and someone's taking advantage of the fact that someone is so trusting all right like sagittarius you may have been promised a relationship from this person and this this person's like dragging something out and there's no clear direction of where the relationship is going but normally the emperor in the upright position is a very honorable person so it's feeling like this person is acting out of character because of love. I mean, we all can do some crazy things when love is involved, right? Um, but it feels like someone's acting out of character because of love. Someone loves you, Sagittarius, and they're acting different because of you. Now, that's not because of you per se. It's th them saying it. You're, nothing's your fault. I mean, they, they gotta take ownership of their own actions. Why the Queen of Cups? Why this Queen of Cups? Well, this one wanted to come out. Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords. There's some sneaky stuff going on here, Sagittarius. But it feels like you know about it. It feels like you know about it. Because you're, you're admitting in the reading here that you and this person are clear that something needs to stay private right now while something works itself out. All right, and I am getting a Sagittarius that may be like stressing out about having to keep the, your love life a secret. Um, or there's a reconciliation between you and somebody and you're stressing about whether or not you can trust this person back into your life. It's one of those, man. You could be connected with a Gemini or an Aquarius. 
if it feels like you have a complicated situation with somebody where you never know if this is going to be someone that's going to be in your life for a long time or if it's going to be short-lived this could definitely be someone that you've had an on off again type of dynamic and other people kind of stir up the pot maybe or other people have affected someone's ability to trust the relationship maybe someone you know screwed your person over in the past and it's hard for this person to trust and to open themselves up authentically to love because of some pain in their past um, the Hierophant and the Strength card. Let me clarify that Six of Swords. I mean, the Six of Swords is moving on from the Five of Swords, so it's like you're getting out of hot water with something. You're coming out of hot water with something with that Six of Swords influencing that Five of Swords. All right, and the Five of Swords does feel like online bullying, harassing text messages from somebody, or um, gossip. Let me clarify the, the Devil and the Knight of Pentacles. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, by the way. And if you like the book of private reading with me, Sagittarius, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. What is this devil to the Knight of Pentacles? The Queen of Pentacles. And I got the Queen of Pentacles right here. There's this energy here that is showing up as a stable energy on surface, but internally there's some sneaky stuff going on or some deception surrounding a love connection. Page of Wands. Seven of Wands, King of Wands. Like someone has to fight for this connection because other people are casting stones on it. That's what it feels like. It feels like Sagittarius, there's someone that you want to be with, someone that wants to be with you, but you feel like you have to defend why you're wanting to be with this person or why this person wants to be with you. Or there's other people still in the situation, whether romantically or just some nosy people that someone needs to like, you know, help you sort out. All right, maybe it's maybe people on Facebook are like, hey, Sagittarius, I can't believe you're back with so and so. That person is just going to break your heart again. It, it could be something like that. All right, let me clarify that Nine of Swords. You guys have me like MacGyver in this reading today. Why the Nine of Swords? Why the Nine of Swords with that Ten of Wands? Why the Nine of Swords with that Ten of Wands? The Empress. The Empress. Ace of Cups. The Empress and the Emperor want to be together. Okay, but there's some back and forth energy surrounding a relationship for wands. Yes, Sagittarius, it does feel like you and this person are either married or already in a committed relationship where there's children and you guys are trying to have a new beginning and heal the connection with the star and other people don't agree with you guys reconciling because of the on and off again dynamic. And if you were never in a relationship with this person, Sagittarius, you guys are trying to get into a relationship, but you guys need to start something brand new in order to do that. And, and in order to start something brand new, Ace of Cups, something old might need to end first, Ten of Wands. A completion for a new beginning. I hope this makes sense. Let me get a hidden message. It feels like Sagittarius, you're either in a third party situation where you need to leave someone to be with somebody or someone needs to leave someone to be with you, or uh, there's family members in the way, friends are casting shade on your relationship, or it's a work situation where you have to be sneaky. It, 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 I hope this made sense. Hit a message for Sagittarius, or there's a reconciliation here and you don't want people to judge you. I'm working on myself so I can give you the love and relationship you deserve. Sagittarius, either you or the cross watcher is working on themselves to be, you know, to show up better in the relationship because you're only as good as your, how you show up for somebody. All right. You don't want to work on a relationship. You want to work on yourselves individually. So that way you guys can add value to each other. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. That could be why I saw the Three of Pentacles and the Two of Cups on the pre-shuffle. Someone here wants more than another person may be offering because of hidden feelings and someone trying to friend zone somebody. I cheated you out of real love. I ghosted you because of my own insecurities. So someone here may have been ghosted because of someone else's insecurities about what to do in the relationship. So let me get you an ocean whisper. So this was a this was a, a different reading, Sagittarius. I feel like this feels similar to your reading last week. Um, I could be wrong. I, I I think I even titled it "Secret to Be Revealed" because there was some sort of secret in that reading, and this is kind of connecting to it with that moon energy. However, in last week's reading, you had the High Priestess and the Four of Wands. Number two, diving to new depths. 
There is a deeper meaning to what is happening. You might be looking at this from the surface and missing what is really going on. Take a moment to pause and breathe. Allow yourself to dive deeper into what is really, what you are really feeling about your current situation. Didn't I say that earlier? I said something feels really stable on the surface, but deep within there's some sort of shady stuff there's some complicated stuff there's some heartache all right or a tough decision needs to be made on somebody's end number 26 where you need to be acknowledge how you're feeling right now have faith the universe will take care of a current concern by providing you the best possible outcome for all involved all involved there's people involved there's people involved all right, picture these five cats as five people. All right, so I hope this reading helped. You could be connecting with an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, um, a Cancer, Pisces, Capricorn. Uh, it could be any zodiac sign, all right? I hope this reading helped. If it did, please rock that like and subscribe button for you, girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. Later, later Gator.